Alright, welcome to part 5. The, um, the next step in this uh, little project of ours with the camera is to uh, build another box basically inside this box. Uh, let me just show you. So we're going to build a, another little box inside here. It's going to be stepped up slightly because when we put the cartridge in like this, slip in there, and that's basically just going to be sitting on there. So inside the box here is going to have a guide uh, that will help the cartridge sit nice and square to the back of the camera. And this is what we're going to have. We're going to have a tiered system here. So we're going to have uh, another tiered system here. And depending on the, um, the length, the focal length, which is 106 mil in this case, uh, we might build up just one more tier just to have that uh, focal length from the pinhole to the film plane itself. So, here we go. So what I've done here is um, with one of the end pieces from the camera, uh, this is where we need to glue in a very uh, thin strip, as thick as the, uh, the piece of wood that you're using, um, right on the end here. Now this strip, as I said before in, in a recent video that I made, um, this strip is actually off a old mouse mat. So, you know, this, this type of rubber is quite good, it's quite sort of solid and uh, shouldn't fall apart too, too quickly. But what you need to do really, is I'll just put this in the vise, you need to uh, glue this strip on the end here and make sure that you use a very, very strong glue. Because when we push the cartridge in, we don't want this rubber to sort of go like this, you know, and pull it off the wood as it goes in. So it needs to be very strong and... Um, and the rubber just needs to flex as that cartridge comes in to block any light in coming into the camera. So I'll just show you here. Uh, take these other pieces out. Now this piece is going to go. Okay, imagine the rubber's on the end there. It's going to go into <coughs> into the end there, and we're just going to leave a little bit of a gap down the bottom. So this piece actually needs trimming a little bit. Uh, when it goes down the bottom, just here, it's going to sit up a little bit above the cartridge and then down there you'll have the rubber. So hopefully when the cartridge goes in this way, or any light that's going into the side of the camera here, will be hopefully blocked off by that piece of rubber coming in there. So it's nice and soft. And that's the end piece. Now this is all part of the inside box of course. After we finish the box we glue it in and then we'll glue that piece on the end. All right. All right. So here we're in the middle of uh, making the second box, which is going to be inserted inside the camera here. So this whole box here inserted into there. Now I'll just show you this very quickly without moving this too much. Now I'm just gradually doing this uh, while the glue is drying, make sure everything is square, wipe off any edges on the outside there. Um, it's a bit tricky to put this together actually without any moulds or anything like that. It just becomes too much of a headache. So I'm just doing it gradually. And as it dries more and more, then I can actually start squaring it off and make sure it dries square. Now you'll notice that this little gap here, well this piece here is actually shorter than the rest. And that's for our little rubber piece to fit in there. And that will, well, as you insert it into the camera, this piece here, okay, the rubber piece here will be sitting on top of the uh, the um, dark slide and hopefully block any light that's coming in the side of the camera. So that's why that's smaller, and then they'll just fit nice and square into the um, into the camera. And this will act as a guide now for the dark slide to fit in nice and square to the back. Right, so while we're waiting for the insert to dry, as you can see the glue is quite sort of Banding now, I can pick up the whole whole piece here without falling apart. Just a few little uh, adjustments here and there. Make sure they sit nice and square, nice and flat on the outside here. And of course, after it's dry, we'll probably put a little bit of 
you know, do a little bit of trimming there, make sure it fits nice and snug inside the box. So while that's drying, uh, the other thing that uh, we need to do now is to actually put these inserts um, for our tripod mount because we really need to have a tripod mount, especially for pinhole, because most pinhole exposures are going to be quite long. Uh, now this, you can get these at hardware, hardware store. Now these are just uh, leg adjustments for tables. All right. So and uh, the screw uh, part on this is actually the right size for your standard tripod mount uh, screw. All right. So we're going to decide which way we're going to put the cartridge. Now for me, I'm going to go on the right hand side here. So I'm quite used to that side of things. So we want one on the bottom. And we're going to mount this inside. This is going to be drilled a hole through there. And it's going to be mounted on the other side. Come through. And just on this side, because by the time we put the whole body together, that will basically be, you know, towards the centre a little bit. So we don't want it too far back here. And uh, this seems to be a nice place just there. This is going to fit down here for us a lot longer. Um, so one on this side, mounting that way. And then one on the bottom for portrait orientation for the camera. So we're going to put two there. One there, one there. Now I know not, most tripods will have a uh, swivel head and you can do that. Uh, but maybe um, if you're travelling light and you want a small little tripod, and this is going to be quite handy if you want one as a portrait and uh, one as a landscape orientation. So, you know, yeah, it'll just make life a little bit easier. So we're going to put two in there. We're going to drill a hole through here, insert that, glue it in, and then of course we're just going to trim inside this body bit here so it'll slip over that because that's going to be sitting on the surface of course. Right, so <clears throat> this is the stage we're up to at the moment. So we've got the inbox, the inner side of the uh, inside the camera built now, and we have the rubber piece here glued on the end. Now just just a notch down, a little bit of a notch here, so we've got the rubber uh, kind of over overlapping the um, the wood here, so it's not you know dead on square, but it's just overlapping inside the camera just slightly, just to give it a little bit extra width. Um, so, as you saw in the video, I've routed these two sections out here, and this will fit on top of the uh, the tripod mounts now. Now, I'll put these into uh, the wood flush to the bottom, and then put some glue underneath here just to make sure they're not going to move around anywhere. They're actually hammered in, so you'll find that you'll have spikes on these things to hammer them into the wood. Um, so we're up to this stage where we need to now glue in this piece into the body of the camera. That's basically where we're up to. And uh, we're just about to glue that in. We've got the rubber sitting on top of the cartridge there. And hopefully we'll have a look a little bit later on, see if there's any light leaks. Hopefully not. So we have a look through the light here. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to glue that in and then we're going to start the next tier on top of this camera now. Now this could be in uh, part 6, the, um, the next part of this camera, so we'll build the next tier plus the, uh, the front plate and then we'll build a pinhole and that should be just about it for the camera. So part 6 should see the, see the finish of the camera.